Cohiba is a premium luxury Cuban cigar brand. Due to their high status and difficulty to obtain, Cohibas are counterfeited more than any other cigar brand in the world and now use anti-counterfeit holograms. Cohiba's origins trace back to the mid-1960s, when a bodyguard of Fidel Castro shared some of his private supply of cigars made by a local artisan named Eduardo Rivera. These cigars pleased Castro so much that a special production of the unbranded blend was made for Castro and other top government officials. Production underwent tight security due to the ongoing fears of CIA assassination efforts against Fidel and Raul Castro and Che Guevara. It is now known that the CIA did in fact work on the development of exploding cigars as a means of assassination. Cuban Cohibas use the finest cigar tobacco available in Cuba from first-class tobacco fields in the Pinar del Rio province. The tobacco is unique among Cuban brands due to a special third fermentation in wooden barrels, which produces a smoother flavor than other cigars. Originally, all Cohibas were made at a mansion located on the outskirts of Havana, which was converted into a cigar rolling school for women in 1961. The Cuban Cohiba brand was formally launched in 1968 by Cuba Tobacco, a state-owned company. During the first years of production, only a few thousand boxes were produced annually, reserved for high government officials and diplomats. These cigars soon gained a cult status, becoming a part of the revolutionary look, thanks to Che Guevara's pronouncement that he had never smoked a better cigar. The brand also went on to offer cigarillos, cigarettes and cognac. With the nationalization of the Cuban tobacco industry, nationalization being the process of making privately owned assets into public assets owned by the state, many cigar makers fled the island and began growing tobacco in the Dominican Republic, Honduras, and Nicaragua, taking the brand names of their cigars with them. Cuba Tobacco claimed that the brand names were the property of the nation, which ended in both the private owners and the state, producing products with the same names at the same time. A US embargo against all Cuban goods gave private owners the chance to relaunch the brands in other countries. The privately owned General Cigar Company first registered the name Cohiba in the United States in 1978 and subsequently began selling cigars under the Cohiba brand in the 1980s. General Cigar's product was known as Red Dot Cohiba, owing to the red dot in the middle of the O in Cohiba on its bands and boxes. This Cohiba was related to the Cuban product in name only, containing no Cuban tobacco, and thus it was the only Cohiba that could be legally sold in the United States. In 1997, Cuba Tobacco launched a legal campaign to have the General Cigars trademark revoked. However, the US embargo meant that Cuba could not own property in the US, including trademarks. Each company had its wins and losses, and both continued to appeal against each unfavorable ruling in a variety of different US courts. Today, over 20 years later, the litigation continues and the US Supreme Court refuses to get involved. In 2014, President Obama announced a relaxation of the trade embargo, allowing travelers to bring up to $100 worth of Cuban cigars into the United States for personal consumption. In 2020, President Trump announced a stronger stance on Cuban imports, making it illegal to bring Cuban cigars to the US once again. Though many websites claim that you can buy Cuban cigars online and ship them to the US, don't be fooled. You will still be at risk of serious penalties. 